So, EA dropped Icon Swaps 2. Let's discuss the best options for tokens and what you guys should pick. For cheap, fast, and reliable foot coins, check out u7buy.com. There is a link in the description and use the code HABER to get yourself a discount on all of your orders. Now, I'm actually away right now uh, on holiday for the next week, which is actually really unfortunate timing. So I've actually got to go off this graphic talking about icon slots, but I still wanted to talk about it uh, and discuss, you know, what I think you guys should take with your tokens. Um, we know all of these already because of leaks. It's actually currently Saturday right now, and we already know what we're getting in icon swaps to uh, on the Monday. But I thought we'd discuss it anyway and talk about the sort of best options for tokens and whatnot. Now, let's go over it. For, so for two tokens, you get an 81 plus times 25. For three tokens, an 82 plus times 25. For five tokens, an 83 plus times 25. For six tokens, mid on re for seven prime javi for eight a prime icon pack for nine tokens stoichkov prime for 10 tokens a 91 plus middle prime icon pack also for 10 tokens a prime moments gerard for 11 tokens a prime kafu for 12 a middle prime player pack for 13 a 92 plus prime icon pack sorry middle prime icon player pick uh, player uh, player pick sorry um for 92 plus pr uh, prime icons 13 tokens for 14 tokens a prime icon moments canavaro for 15 a prime icon player pick and 16 a 92 plus prime or moments pack 17 being gadincha so overall i think we've got some decent picks in there for packs i mean players wise i honestly again like every single icon swaps i feel like we say the same thing we just don't get great player options for icon swaps these days i think the first year they did icon swaps we got some really dope players in there some good options but nowadays like i don't know the best player in there i think is the 11 token prime icon kafu i don't think moments gerard's going to be necessarily amazing in game prime studio all right but he's got a three star weak foot so although he's actually a decent card um his weak foot lets him down and if you're going to go for the prime icon pack for the first nine tokens which i assume most people will I don't think Stoichkov is necessarily the best option. Um, and then, you know, Moments Cannavaro is really decent as well. But again, like, by the time you get the second set of tokens, is he really that usable in game compared to some of the cards we'll have? I'm not entirely sure. Prime Javi, again, is a fun one, but I personally wouldn't. And then I think mid on is already not great in the game. I think there's so many better options. Um, so, for me, first nine tokens, I think the Prime Icon Pack for me is what I'd go for. I am... I, I just love taking that gamble. I love taking that risk. I love going for it with the packs. So I think the Prime Icon Pack is probably the, the, the way I'd go for the first nine tokens. Um, I'm not going to go for any of those players necessarily. Uh, I think the Prime Icon Pack is probably the best option to go for um, for the first nine of the 18 tokens. That leaves you with 10 tokens remaining. Now, I'd probably go Prime Icon Pack and 91 plus prime icon pack to a middle prime icon pack should i say and just go with the two icon packs it's not a bad shout but alternatively um you could just go for the fodder packs now i personally would go for the prime icon pack first and then see what promos are out when the second round of icon swap tokens comes out um in the next season i think that's probably the best option to go for there um because then you can see what promos you got and save those packs for uh the biggest promos that you can possibly think of that are going to come out right maybe we're close to foot birthday or maybe we're close to you know a big promo like that so it could be a good shout out to wait um do the prime micro pack first and then with the remaining 10 tokens do the 83 plus the 82 plus and 81 plus times 25 now if you're looking for a guaranteed player although prime grincher is actually a sick player in game i think 17 tokens is harsh considering again you got to think about it like this by the time you guys get 17 tokens at that stage of the game we're going to be coming up to almost team of the season time we're currently in february now for the next six weeks, these tokens are going to be out. Uh, maybe seven or eight weeks as well. Um, and then you've got to go and get the tokens after that. So we're talking like potentially 10, 11 weeks. And, you know, from February, 10, 11 weeks time from now. Yeah, I mean, it's all, it's going to be almost March when this video comes out. We're going to be like a week away from March. We're talking like late April, May time. I just don't think that it's... Is going to be worth going for Prime Garincha with that many tokens required. Prime Kafu will be one of the better right backs on the whole game, but I think there's a lot of options that are cheap now. 11 tokens, I think you've got to match that up against sort of your time and things like that. It's not bad. You could go with, like, for example, the 11 tokens there and go with, I don't know, the 83 plus and the 81 plus times 25, or you can go with the 11 tokens and the seven tokens for Xavi as well. That could be a good shout. I think that could uh, th that could be a good combination. I think Kafu is a good shout. If you're looking for a guaranteed player, my pick would be Kafu. I think Kafu would be the better option. Now, uh, if you need a center back, I wouldn't go Cannavaro. I think you're genuinely better off taking the fodder packs, waiting for a good promo with a good center back in, and then the rowing out those i mean even potentially road to the final right now potentially you do the 83 plus times 25 you open it and hope for a kim pembe it's not the worst 
you know, bet in the world to go for. Um, it's one of those, though, where it's like, I think this is definitely an icon swaps where the packs are the best value. I think eight tokens for a prime icon pack is really, really good. You can get that done in the first couple of days, open those up and get something decent from that. I think most prime icons at this current state of the game are usable, unless you get super unlucky with like a two or something like that. Then obviously it's not great. But I think, you know, you get a prime icon most of them are usable you know your butcher grenos are still sick and things like that so uh yeah i would potentially uh, go with that um and then i think the middle prime 91 plus that definitely narrows out some of the worst of pools i mean 91 plus that i mean i'm thinking of mid icons and some of the worst mid icons and there's some really good mid icons you can get and most of the worst ones are below 91 rated obviously you still got your gary linekers and things like that but i do like the odds of it alternatively if you do really need a midfielder gerard wouldn't be a horrible shout i just don't think like i used moments gerard last year and wasn't the biggest fan of Moments Gerard last year, and I just think this year it's probably going to be the exact same thing. I don't think he's going to be necessarily amazing. He was a bit underwhelming last year. Um, so, you know, I'm not entirely sure I'd go with Moments Gerard, but that is completely your prerogative if you want to go for him. Um, so, yeah, my my picks would be uh, Prime Icon Pack and then the 91 Plus Prime Icon, or Middle Prime Icon Pack. I did want to go through the in-game stats of Henri, Xavi, Stoichkov, Cafu, and Gadinch. Obviously, I can't show you the Icon Moments yet because for me, they're not out yet. I'm, I'm recording this on Saturday night. Um, but, yeah, so, I mean, Henri, even for the low token amount he's just not great uh even just for like the, what was it seven tokens five tokens i can't even remember right in the middle of that six tokens i think like it's striker he could do a decent job and if you're an arsenal fan i can understand why you go for him but apart from that it's just he's just like, there's so many better options that are super cheap at the moment i think xavi again it's a really fun one i think like this is one of those cards i would get if i just wanted to have fun with the game maybe i'm a big barca fan or a spanish person I don't know why. Just maybe I'm Spanish is what I should have said. Um, but like maybe maybe you're a big Barca fan or, or you're Spanish and you want to get him for the nostalgia. I completely respect that. But at the same time, yeah, again, it's it, it, like he's just not going to compete against some of the better midfielders in this game. I mean, even the likes of some of the, the Tabo card, I think, is better than this card in game at midfield. Um, Stoichkov is a phenomenal striker on this game. He is absolutely fantastic. But again, his three-star weak foot lets him down. And it's another one of those things where, like, normal Mbappe at this stage will probably do a better job than Stoichkov and be super cheap. So it's one of those where, I mean, he's good, but he's nine tokens. He's taking up half of your tokens. Maybe going for Stoichkov and the Prime Icon Pack might not be a bad shout. And if you do go for a player and the Prime Icon Pack, this is really important. Do the Prime Icon Pack first. Because you might get the same player twice. It's unlikely, but you might get the same player twice. So if you're going to get Stoichkov and the Prime Icon Pack, or you're going to get Xavi and the Prime Icon Pack, do the Prime Icon first with your tokens. Do not wait, because it's definitely not a good idea to wait, just in case you get, you know, the same player twice. Um, Cafu, again, this is one of the best right-backs in the game. He's absolutely phenomenal. Like, it's a really good idea for 11 tokens to go for this card. It just eliminates a lot of your better options for packs i mean you could do this and go for fodder packs but that's literally about it unfortunately or maybe do kafu and javi um but if you do want to spend 11 tokens he's a really 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 good player i would say he's one of the better options you can get um at right back in the entire game like only the team of the hikimis and whatnot compete with this card at the moment he's really really good um and then get into again like cards phenomenal he's so good in game but for 17 tokens all that time all that effort I just don't know if he's necessarily the best use of your time. He's going to be really good, but when Team of the Season rolls around, I know most people, if they pack a decent player join Team of the Season, will probably bench this card just because as humans, we get bored of the same card over and over again. So we might, you know, replace it with a new card during Team of the Season. So yeah, I would say, although he's a good shout and he's really good in game, I would personally not advise going for him, but I completely understand if you do. Um, but yeah, those are the players that I can currently show you. I can't really show you the, the icon moments, unfortunately. But yeah, so I think overall, my advice would be uh, Prime Icon Pack and 91 Plus Middle Prime Icon Pack or the Prime Icon Pack and Prime Stoichkov, depending on what you need in your team. Um, for me, what I'll end up doing is probably the Prime Icon Pack and the 91 Plus Middle Prime. I know what I'm like, and I'll probably do that and then leave the last token and not even get it for squad battles. So, yeah. Uh, but if you guys have enjoyed this video, please leave a like down below and subscribe if you guys know and do. If there's anything different about Icon Swaps when it comes out, and obviously this video is a little bit inaccurate, maybe like Stoichkov is now eight tokens and, and the Prime Micro Pack's nine tokens, for example. Um, apologies. I can't do anything about it. I'm currently away. Literally just a case of I'm recording this video early. Um, so, yeah, that is literally it. But if you guys have enjoyed, I really wanted to get a video out as well. If you guys have enjoyed, please leave a like down below. Subscribe if you guys. Nant here. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you lads later.